Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in dentistry and more. So we have a topic from physiology that is thyroid gland disorders. So uh, basically it has got three problems. One can be the under functioning of thyroid gland that is hypothyroidism. Then the over functioning that is hypothyroidism. Then the neoplastic changes. So hypothyroidism where the gland is not functioning properly we have under production of thyroid hormones it can lead to myxedema then the cretinism and thyroiditis whereas the over production of thyroid hormone leads to Graves disease or thyrotoxicosis then we have goiter which is characterized by diffuse and multinodular pattern and the neoplastic process where it can be a benign one or a malignant so it is very important for uh, exam point of view each one can be asked as a short note and this entire thyroid gland might be a long essay so we will directly start from the hypothyroidism so resulting from reduced level of T3 and T4 so what are the causes of hypothyroidism so there are many causes for hypothyroidism it can be uh, classified into primary or secondary reasons so primary causes can be uh, the dietary uh, deficiency that the iodine intake is less uh, then the normal uh, auto uh, immune problems such as Hashimoto's thyroiditis Hashimoto's thyroiditis or it can be due to the drugs such as thiocyanates sulfonylureas or lithium it can be a iatrogenic reason that is surgical removal of thyroid gland uh, and may be due to the radiation treatment then it can be due to uh, infiltrative disorders or very rarely a congenital one that is the primary causes for hypothyroidism okay all these Hashimoto's autoimmune thyroiditis whereas the secondary reasons can be a pituitary gland destruction pituitary gland destruction or isolate TSH deficiency thyroid, thyroid stimulating hormone deficiency or any hypothalamic disorders or can be a secondary reason for hypothyroidism so that was uh, all about the reasons okay primary and secondary reasons for the hypothyroidism now let's learn one by one that is the first one we have the myxedema which is very commonly asked question myxedema is also known as gall disease gall disease so hypothyroidism in developing uh, in adult patient where the deposition of excess mucoprotein in skin of forearm leg feet okay so the most striking features are enlargement of the thyroid gland that is a goiter then lack of interest in daily household activities showing of uh, physical and mental uh, tiredness then generalized fatigue very dull look um, there will be uh, overweight for the patient decreased um, shortness that is a shortness of breath and uh, there will be uh, constipation and decreased sweating and the skin will be uh, dry thick and yellow that is the carotinemia will be there reduced blood flow uh, so the temperature will be less there will be edema puffy face you can see the picture here uh, periorbital swelling and uh, drooping of upper eyelid which is known as ptosis and the hair is little bit of coarse pattern 
and broadening of the facial features enlarged tongue deepening of voice that is the telephonic voice uh, the bmr decreases basal metabolic rate decreases to 30 to 40 percentage and there will be cold intolerant this will be exactly opposite in hypo hypothyroidism and there will be a uh, history of anemia then menstrual irregularities low blood sugar and memory loss related to cns and knee jerk reaction time will be increased and all those there are many features for myxedema uh, which is a hypothyroidism condition whereas a cretinism so we were talking about the myxedema now the cretinism which is commonly seen in childhood this is basically in adults so don't get confused myxedema in adults and cretinism in childhood both are due to the hypothyroidism so they are like a devoid of any initiatives uh, uh, they are very careless people it is basically due to the maternal iodine deficiency so there will be uh, mental retardation it is commonly seen in uh, iodine deficient area just like himalayan belt china or africa clinically uh, they have impaired skeletal development and cns development uh, so there will be definitely uh, mental retardation and the child might be deaf and mute dwarfism and stunted growth with thick coarse and dry skin protruded abdomen just like uh, pot belly there will be enlarged tongue uh, failure of sexual developments and all the milestones will be delayed such as the dentition uh, delayed walking delayed sitting up delayed closure of the fontanelles uh, speech and all will be delayed in cretinism so that was about um, cretinism uh, here the hormones the lab finding the tsh that is the thyroid stimulating hormones will be increased whereas the t4 sorry t4 and t3 will be decreased now we have the thyroiditis okay thyroiditis it's an inflammation of thyroids so one we no, that is the Hashimoto mm, thyroiditis. Hashimoto thyroiditis. So it is a gradual uh, thyroid failure due to the autoimmune destruction of thyroid. It can be mostly seen in fifth and sixth decade of life, and it has got uh, female predominance. That is ten as to one female predominance. Major cause of non entomic goiter in children and there is a genetic component that is patients with turner syndrome has high circulating anti thyroid uh, antibody so the our own body cells acting against our thyroid gland and destroying it so that is an autoimmune condition so clinically uh, there will be progressive depletion of thyroid cells it is replaced by mononuclear cells and fibers that is a fibrosis happening so it comes to a clinical attention as painless enlargement of the thyroid with some degree of hypothyroidism okay but still hypothyroidism is there but it is slowly replaced by the gland is slowly replaced by the fibrous tissues and mononuclear cells so patient is at risk of developing other autoimmune diseases so uh, but a patient is uh, not having any uh, risk of malignancy in Hashimoto's thyroiditis that is a autoimmune disorder one more thyroiditis we have that is d uh, cuvain thyroiditis which is occurs in uh, 30 to 50 year old but it is uh, basically less than the Hashimoto's 
still it has a female uh, predominance but it is caused by basically viral uh, as viral infection such as uh, adenoviruses and all those things so that was uh, the Yukuvain thyroiditis now we have uh, redal thyroiditis that is a fibrosis of uh, redal thyroiditis fibrosis of thyroid and neighboring structures and we have subacute lymphocytic thyroiditis and we may also have congenital hypothyroidism okay so that was about hypothyroidism now let's learn hypothyroidism and hypothyroidism it is a condition where the circulating uh, levels are very increased uh, basically it is due to the thyroid type thyrotoxicosis uh, causes can be uh, graves disease toxic multinodular goiter toxic adenoma or iodine excess or the um, activation of tsh receptors all those things the first one is a very important one which is known as graves disease the most common cause of endogenous hypothyroidism characterized by uh, hypothyroidism there is a diffuse enlargement of thyroid gland with lymphocytic infiltration there will be pre tibial myxedema pre tibial myxedema we already know what is myxedema which is seen in hypothyroidism but this is characterized by pre tibial myxedema then the peak incidence is 20 to 40 years with female predilection and pathogenesis can be uh, it is due to a autoimmune uh, problem or the thyroid stimulating antibody it is acting uh, like tsh and uh, all this leads to uh, increased formation of t3 and t4 and there will be growth of increased growth of thyroid gland so what are the features of graves disease so the most striking feature is exophthalmosis exophthalmos so exophthalmos is nothing but protrusion of the eyeball with visibility of sclera between the lower lid and cornea it is basically due to the retro orbital connective tissue and ocular muscles are increased and resulting in a protruded appearance there will be uh, inflammatory edema t cell infiltration fat infiltration so all these leads to the bulging of eye outward okay just like this picture and um, the basal metabolic rate is increased all the things which is happening in hypo will be reversed okay basal metabolic rate is increased here we have the heat intolerance okay heat here we learned cold intolerance in hypothyroidism we have heat intolerance there will be weight loss um there will be vitamin b and c deficiency tachycardia high cardiac output then decreased serum lipid levels so it is very easy to learn if you know the hypothyroidism almost opposite will be in the hypothyroidism but never get confused okay and regarding cns there will be over excitability uh, the warm skin will be there like smooth moist warm skin uh, over growth of nail which is known as acro patchy which may lift off the nail bit that is onco uh, onycholysis not onco onycholysis okay colysis so there will be pre tibial myxedema increased skin pigmentation all those things that was about the graves disease never forget the exophthalmos condition now we have the thyrotoxicosis so the symptoms are hyperactivity irritability uh, heat intolerance sweating palpitation fatigue weakness diarrhea polyuria sexual dysfunction and all the tachycardia atrial fibrillation all those things the same uh, exophthalmos and pre tibial myxedema 
and there will be increased T3 and T4 in lab finding. So it can be uh, treated based on uh, like reducing thyroid hormone synthesis using uh, radioiodine or by surgical means and all those things we can do to reduce the level of T3 and T4. Uh, one more condition we need to learn in hyperthyroidism that is thyroid storm or thyrotoxic crisis so it's a life-threatening exacerbation of thyrotoxicosis accompanied by fever delirium seizures coma vomiting jaundice mortality rate can be up to 30 percentage uh, it is usually precipitated by acute illness such as stroke infection trauma diabetic ketoacidosis Thyroid storm, it's like uh, abrupt onset of, uh, onset of severe hyperthyroidism, which is there will be severe tachycardia, all those things. Now we have the most common thing that is the goiter. Goiter. Goiter is a diffuse and multinodular enlargement of thyroid. Diffuse and multinodular enlargement of the thyroid it is the most common manifestation of thyroid disease most often caused by the dietary iodine deficiency that is the impaired synthesis of thyroid hormone it's a different category goiter so two types it can be a endemic one or a sporadic one so endemic goiter is endemic to certain geographic areas such as Himalayas, Alps. There is a deficiency of iodine in that particular area. That is uh, which can result from ingestion of certain goitrogens such as cabbage, cauliflower, brussels, sprouts, turnips. So which prevent the incorporation of iodine with tyrosine. So which are known as goitrogens okay goitrogens which prevents the incorporation of iodine with tyrosine which is a basic step of iodine uptake so this step will be prevented sorry this step will be prevented by the goitrogens which are there cabbage cauliflower brussels sprouts turnips all those things this sporadic goiter is less frequent than endemic one there will be female uh, uh, predilection whereas a multi nodular goiter it is a recurrent hyperplasia or hypertrophy of the condition all simple non-toxic goiters evolve into a multi nodular one and this thyroid gland will be asymmetrically enlarged now lastly we have the neoplasm that is a benign and malignant one they are known as adenomas they are the discrete solitary masses derived from the follicular epithelium so also known as follicular adenomas So this adenoma is usually present as unilateral painless mass. It takes up less radioactive iodine compared to the normal thyroid parenchymal cells. So it is uh, cold nodules uh, and this biopsy is the gold standard for diagnosis. So thyroid carcinomas, uh, that is a malignant condition. So benign are uh, adenomas in carcinoma. Uh, that can be a papillary one, follicular one, medullary one, anaplastic one with female uh, predominance uh, and it is most common one is the papillary carcinoma, papillary one. So that was all about the thyroid uh, disorders. So we learned the hypo thyroid condition and hyperthyroid condition and neoplastic condition and goiter so most commonly 
the graves disease and thyroid uh, toxicosis or thyroid storm and hypoplasia mixedema cretinism and thyroiditis and in neoplasm we have adenomas and uh, carcinomas it can be a variety one papillary medullary all those things and a goiter one it can be endemic and sporadic one so it's a very very commonly asked uh, essay question in uh, physiology or it can be asked as a short note so there are lots of short notes present here so in each condition you can expect a uh, three or four questions in hypo hyper all those things so never ever miss this chapter for your exam so i'll come with a new topic in dentistry and all thank you